Hi everyone! Orange HRM introduces a number of new features and enhancements to every release. This video summarizes the key features incorporated into the product from version 7.6 to 7.7. .7. Let's go ahead and see what new features have been added for this release. Reports and Analytics With this release, we have introduced a new feature called Scheduled Reports, which is accessible via the Reports and Analytics module. With this feature, now it is possible to schedule the reports to run on a regular basis, weekly or monthly, etc. Both PDF and CSV report formats are supported. On this screen, you can specify the scheduled report name, the frequency to send the report, the relevant time zone, and the start date and time for the report. Next, you can define the report format, choose the report, and then select the option to email to single or multiple recipients or the option to upload it to an FTP location and complete the FTP connection information and save. Additionally, any actions performed within the scheduled report section will now be tracked under the audit trail. Employee management. Additional improvements have been added to the employee job and salary event section. Previously, there were a limited number of event names to choose from the available drop-down list when updating employee job and salary information. With this release, you can now create custom job and salary events within the configuration screen. Should any updates be made in the job and salary section, you can now select from the custom event names created, complete the necessary information and click save. The next feature incorporated into this release is Employee Termination. Future termination of employees can now be facilitated by specifying the future termination date and time in the system. Also, if a past employee needs to be reactivated with a future effective date, this is also now possible in the system. We have included additional email notifications for employee termination upon execution of the following actions. Employee termination notification, employee termination scheduled notification, employee termination reminder notification. These email notifications will trigger based on the specific actions performed for employee termination. Leave module. In this release, we have introduced another new feature called iCalendar feed. Within the leave module, the Orange HRM iCalendar feed feature now enables you to access your leave list data directly from your calendars in Office 365, Google, iOS and other programs that allow you to add a new calendar via URL. This iCalendar feed adopts a calendar format that allows you to share calendar data from one calendar service to another calendar service. Should you wish to synchronize the leave data you can simply set up the leave filters and then copy the iCal feed URL into your preferred calendar in order to see the employee leave days. This iCal feed feature is available in both the leave list and my leave list screens. If you are a manager who needs to see the leave of their subordinates, you can simply define the filters as required and add the iCal feed to your calendar. In order to ensure the information retrieved from the iCal feed is accurate, in this release the time zone field is now a mandatory field when adding locations under the HR administration section. All existing locations defined will also need to be updated with the correct time zone information, so please navigate to the HR administration section, organization, locations, click the edit button, update the time zone details, and click Save. In this version, additional filters have now been incorporated into the employee leave list. Now it is possible to filter employee leave requests by the employee's job title, employment status, subunit, employee location, job category and work shift. Recruitment. With this release, we have further improved the user interface for the candidate list screen in the recruitment module. As a HR admin or a hiring manager, now candidates can easily be transferred to different vacancies 
whilst preserving all previously collected candidate data. Additionally, when you go to the candidate's profile, all changes that have taken place within the candidate's profile will be captured in the audit trail. You can easily go to the candidate profile to view the audit log. Alternatively, navigate to the audit trail section within the administration module. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please contact us at info.orangehrm.com. For any support matters, drop an email to goalsupport at orangehrm.com or visit our website at www.orangehrm.com.